right, sunset on the beach. It was kind of a windy day here, so it was a little tricky having two giant softboxes blowing in the wind. This is where you got to look around for heavy rocks to hold the light stands in place, but it worked. I had two Godox 120 centimeter umbrella softboxes with a Godox AD600 in each one. Gives the model a really nice soft look. For all of these pictures, I used the Zeiss 85 1.8 great portrait lens awesome portrait lens and it's not big and it's not heavy it's great for traveling the Zeiss 85 1.8 this is a full frame Sony a7 III two Godox 8600s with two soft boxes and then I turned the soft boxes off and took some pictures just without any lighting other than what was there natural lighting I always do that I always take a few natural light pictures I think they're pretty good and here I only use the right soft box but not the left one that one gives really cool dramatic looks also. I don't do this a lot because Kara and I are in our 50s and we don't really want to have too many shadows showing harsh features. This is good for younger people, so I try not to do this too much with us. But if you do have light coming from one side and you're older, it's always good to aim your head towards the light. That's the way to get the best lighting is always kind of aim your face towards the light for the soft, for the most flattering lighting. So then we finished that and I thought, okay, I guess we're done. And then as I was putting stuff away, she's just walking around on the left. And I said, wait a minute, that looks really cool. So I just started taking pictures. This is just natural light. It looked cinematic, like a scene out of a movie. And I thought, that is cool. Let me just add a little bit of light. So I added a light off to the left to give her an edge light from the left and a little bit of light from the front. And then we started taking more pictures. <laughs> And these turned out even better, I think, than the original pictures where we were sitting on the beach. These literally look like scenes out of a movie. There's something about it. It was getting so dark that the strobes, even at their lowest power at 1%, were still too bright. So I took the diffusion from the softbox and just draped it over the strobe. It not only lowered the light, but it softened it up a bit too. So here, watch. I'm going to freeze the moment when the thing goes off. Look at the lighting. It looks really cool. I mean, there's no big softbox or anything, but you still get kind of a soft lighting from it. So this is the moment when the strobes went off and this is what it looks like without the strobes. So that's kind of cool. I think these are kind of cinematic looking. I like these, these are cool. And I was just trying different exposure of the light. Sometimes I had no light. Sometimes I had a little bit of light for a more dramatic effect. So that's us playing on the beach. This is what we do when we play on the beach. We have camera equipment. <laughs> So stay tuned next week for more fun photography stuff and tips and tricks on Marcus Picks. Mm -hmm.